Hey everybody, long time no see. Thought I'd make a quick video because I recently was working on a project, ran into a little bit of an issue and then I figured it out. So in case some of you are struggling with the same thing, I thought I'd document it. So the issue involves just adding a podcast embeds to a website. So I had a website, I needed to add a bunch of different audio embed elements, but they needed to be dynamic and match up with the collection list of podcast episodes that I had behind the scenes. I couldn't figure out how to do it. They were all coming up blank or as a text field and they wouldn't change, but eventually simple solution, figured out how to just add that dynamic field in an embed element and make it work. So I'll show you how I was able to build this out in this website and I'll just dive right in and let's go through it. So here's the website that I use this on. This is uh, one of my clients. This is Garrett and Peyton. They run a really popular true crime podcast called Murder With My Husband. If you're into true crime, they've got a lot of cool stuff on this and um, I'll put a link in the video description. But the website was made so it could showcase, add more details about them and the work they do, but also they wanted to have the podcasts available. The way that I was able to do this was using just Apple Embeds. So this is what the finished product looks like on one of these pages. Just kind of a quick overview of each podcast episode. You're able to link to the episode on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, case sources, uh, but this is the main thing that we're gonna be looking at here. This is the embed element itself, and we're able to click and play this directly on the website, which is of course the whole purpose and what we want. So let's just take a look at how I did this. So in a blank page here, the first thing we can do is just add an embed element. So I'm gonna press Command K to bring up this menu, click the embed. So many of you know this is just a little code editor. You can add code into here. If we were going to Apple Podcasts, for example, here's their page. I can just click on one of these episodes and then on this little share button, you'll see the little code closing tag here. Click that, I've got my embed code copied. I can add that right in there. So let's just save and close that just as is. And you'll see it already comes up, so that's great. And we're able to see this even in this preview mode right here, which is awesome. But the point is to have it be dynamic, right? We wanna add multiple of these and have it attached to a CMS collection. So if I'm creating a podcast here, let's do this. Let's do test podcasts. We can have the name field, that's all fine. Let's just say we have a description. And then we can also just have a plain text field. Let's just make this our embed code. And when we create this collection, let's add five items here, create some blank items for us right there. So then back on our page, let's go ahead and add a collection list, right? So let's first link this up to our test podcast collection. And we'll see we've got those five items there. And then let's go ahead and move this embed into the item. So each of these items has an embed. Now you'll see it repeats the same one over and over again. Obviously we don't want that. We would want them all to be different. And if we clear out the embed, so each of these items, so we've got five items with an empty HTML embed, right? So we think, great, we'll just add that code from our collection list and then that'll populate here. So if we go to our test podcast collection and let's put our code here. Let's grab this embed code copied and let's just say I put that there. Great, I'll save that and then if we go here back to our collection, what we want to do is add a dynamic field, right? So this purple button would be anything dynamic. So let's say I want to add my embed code. That should pull from our collection list, right? So if I click Save, You'll see these have the lorem ipsum text because we didn't add it for the other four, but that first one we just added, it shows up as actual text. So we do not want that, right? So this is where it was a little tricky. Why can't we just add that text there and put it here? So it, because of it, it's a text field, it's filling in this embed with actual text. So the way around it is we really just want this source code, which is right here. Because the iframe itself is gonna be the same throughout all of our CMS items, right? So we don't need to change anything for the iframe. So if we keep that the same for each of our items and then just have the source part be dynamic, then it should show up. So I'm gonna click this embed element again. And rather than pull that in, let's copy the whole iframe and then we'll just make the source what's dynamic here. So if I do embed code there, so now we've got the iframe that's static. That's not gonna change. The dimensions, the width, all of that, that will be the same for each of our items, but the only thing that will change will be this embed code. So I'm gonna click save, and it's not gonna work yet because we need to add another change. So if we go back to our test podcast, so rather than have this whole embed code here, 
all we want to do is grab that source part of this because that's going to be different for each of our items. So I'm going to delete all this and it could be tricky to see so just be careful when you're deleting. And we don't even need the quotes because we kept the quotes in our embed element. So now you'll see it's just the HTTPS. That's where it's going to start and go through to the end, whatever that URL is for that specific episode. We're going to click Save. And then when we go back to our page, there we go. We see now that it pulls in. So again, if we look at this, the whole iframe exists for each of these code embeds for each collection item. But this source within quotes is dynamic. And that's going to be pulled by clicking the Add Field. And anything that we create in our collection item will be an option here. So we're pulling that embed code, which is just the HTTPS URL. And there it exists. And that's for Apple. You can also do a Spotify link as well, or a SoundCloud link. Really just go to any site and copy the embed part of this. And then that's all you would need. In Spotify, you can even just come here and grab this source. And then if we switch that out in our item, save that. And when we take a look, now you'll see it's different. It's the Spotify embed. So just play around with it. Grab whichever style you like the most. And then uh, it might be just tedious if you're setting this up. When I was building this, they had over 100 episodes. So I had to go back and um, put them in one by one, which took a while because I had to copy and paste and you know cut out the HTTPS. If you're lucky, they might have a CSV file of all of these already made. And then you could take that CSV and, and put it into a collection and uh, Webflow allows you to map those fields over. So it might save you some time. So yeah, now you know, just add an embed element into your item, your collection item on your page, and just make this one field dynamic and pull in the source code itself. That's how I was able to add dynamic podcast episodes. Hope that helps guys. I'll catch you in the next video.